going back to the garage, man, if I was to ask you guys what my number one tool is, what I use more than anything else inside of the damn garage, what would you say it would be? If you said pressure washer, you're wrong, bro, because my most used tool is the camera I'm holding right now. <laughs> but yeah, the pressure washer most certainly comes into a very close second place, man. You guys know I use this thing more than I use any other tool in my freaking arsenal. I use the pressure washer so much that you guys have even went as far as to say that I'm a car washing channel, bro. Because, I mean, I'm always spraying my cars off. Anytime we pull an engine out, like obviously we have the 5.3 cent here, this thing needs to be cleaned up like really bad, bro. Like it's disgusting. We've also got this set of BMW wheels sitting here. You guys know that I need to get these refinished. Step one of that process, of course, is gonna be to pressure wash the damn things, get them all cleaned up. So my point is, man, there's no shortage around here of work that I need to do with my damn pressure washer, whether it's cleaning my cars or working on engines, refinishing wheels. Anytime I'm gonna paint something, I pressure wash it, I clean it. I use it to spray my driveway out after we we've like pulled an engine and there's transmission fluid all over the damn place. My point is I use my pressure washer so damn much half the time, I wonder why I even put it away. Matter of fact, I've said that quite a few times. What's the point of putting the damn thing away? Cause I'm just gonna get it right back out. But what if I didn't have to get it out every single time I needed it? What if I never had to put the damn thing away? <laughs> Oh, for real, man, Giraffe Tools reached out and they asked me if I would be interested in their wall-mounted pressure washer. Me. Would I be interested in another pressure washer? <laughs> I most certainly am interested. So yeah, this is it, bro. Uh, and it's exactly as the box says, 2200 PSI pressure hose reel with a 100 foot pressure hose. So basically what this is, is a wall mounted pressure washer and it's got a 100 foot freaking hose on it. I, I don't know exactly how long this hose is, but I don't think it's 100 feet, bro. Dude, that would probably reach all the way out to the street. I have had this thing sitting in my freaking kitchen for over a week now and it's been driving me nuts. I wanna open this thing up so bad and now it's finally the freaking time, so let's get into this. Got my new blade. Ooh I'm gonna bring this thing down here so that you guys can experience this with me. Got our little owner's manual and looks like all of our tips and our mounting hardware more than likely a piece for the actual pressure washing wand. Hmm, a little tip cleaner. Nice. What is this? Oh, a bottle. What? Got, did, did it come with its own foam cannon or something? Dun, dun, dun. That is a seriously long freaking hose. Oh my God, this is going to be amazing. Let's get it out. Oh, oh what is this? I'm gonna get this thing out. We'll get it all laid out on the table so we can see everything that came with it. Oh yeah, what a unit. Come on, give it to me. Oh, that actually hurt my toe a little bit. Oh, damn it. That's a solid box. everything that you're gonna get inside of the box man they give you a section of hose it did come with mounting hardware so it does come with lags as well as little plastic shields if you need them a little level check it out man got a little level so that you can actually level it whenever you are mounting the mounting bracket owner's manual and of course here's your pressure washing wand so it's a two-piece you screw it together obviously and this is really freaking cool dude got like a little rubber sleeve over the wand that you can just carry all the tips with you so if you need to switch out tips bro you don't have to walk back to the machine to get it um it did also come with a soap bottle that you can obviously fill up with some soap, a little hose adapter, and then as well as a tip cleaner. So if any of your tips end up getting like clogged or rusty, you can clean out your tip. Last but most certainly not least, the actual unit itself. So this is a 2200 PSI pressure washer, like I mentioned before, um, and that is a 100 
foot hose, man. So that is one of the things that I think is really cool about this is the fact that it is a pressure washer and a hose reel all built into one. Spin this thing around. You do have a handle on both sides that you can carry it by. Here is our water hookup. Continue spinning it around. Here is our mounting bracket, which I'm gonna tip it forward and pull that off. So that's our mounting bracket that we will lag to the wall. And then the machine actually just slides right on top of it. I was trying to decide between two different places. I was either going to put it right here where I put it, or I was gonna put it on this inside wall. Um, I, I wanted to put it on the inside wall so that it's inside, you know what I'm saying? Like no one has access to stealing it, but it's an electric pressure washer and we need a water supply. So with it mounted right here, I have an electric outlet right there to plug it in. And then our water supply is right freaking there. So it just made sense, bro. Just made sense. So now all we got to do is go ahead and slide this thing onto the bracket and then hook up our hose, plug it in, test it out. I see what this adapter is for now. This is a female to female. So the end of your hose is a male. The connection on the pressure washer is also a male. So therefore, you'll need this adapter to be able to screw your hose on. Well, there it is, all outfitted out, man. It's got the uh, wand hanging up where it goes. Got it screwed into our hose. And there's a the little bottle holder. Pretty dope. We're hooked up to water, we're hooked up to power. I need to turn the water on, just a pre-warning. I think my hose is leaking right here, so it might be dripping, but. Future plan, uh, if you guys didn't know, Shiloh is a plumber. Um, oh yeah, it's spraying all over the damn place. And it, it's nothing to do with the pressure washer, it's my hose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little length of hose that they sent with it. Um, so that at least my leaking hose will be down on the ground and not just spraying all over the freaking place But um, if you guys didn't know Shiloh's a plumber, um, I've already talked to him about it What he's gonna do is come out and actually just tie into my water line over there And then we are going to uh, run a hard line up to this to where it just it is Constant it has its own water supply. I don't have to screw the hose into it or nothing like that But for now, I'm I gotta I gotta band-aid my hose. All right problem fixed their hose don't leak <laughs> My freaking leaky hose is down there. I put a rag around it So it's not spraying all over the damn place So now we can move on with testing this thing out and I think this is the power switch <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think it's gonna reach that far, huh? <laughs> All right, so it is working. Now let's see how far I can go with this damn 100 foot hose, huh? That's the exciting part for me because I think that I'm gonna be able to wash my cars out there on the road. Dude, I can go all the way across the street and wash a neighbor's car. Yeah, this really is dope, dude. I am extremely excited for how far this hose will go. I've never been able to do this with the other pressure washer. Like, I literally have to bring the pressure washer all the way out here with me. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. I am all the way out here at the S10. All the way out here. <laughs> That is freaking dope.
Now I can legit wash all my cars without having to bring one, of, bring them one at a time up into the damn driveway. <laughs> That's freaking crazy. I want to see if I can reach my cars all the way over here now. Bruh. I'm all the way at my back, at my side fence. <laughs> uh, what'd you say? So you're a kidding candy shop. What'd you say? Go ahead, my cars are up. Go ahead, have the rest of my day. <laughs> Go ahead, get up. I haven't cussed once in this video, you douchebag. Go ahead and mess it up. <laughs> all right, I got this thing stretched all the way out here again. Now we have to try out their um, the hose reel. They say you just give it a pull. They recommend that you don't just like let it pull in on its own. You want to actually walk back with it. <laughs> Dude, it's just wrapping it right up. Look at that. All the way up to the end, bro. Dude, that is sick. I'm going to pull it back out and actually set the camera up and record the reel itself so you guys can see how it like guides it in all nice and perfect because it's got this little like system on it that keeps it all nice and straight dude and that's freaking sick it makes it so much easier and it's gonna save me so much time bro you guys already know how much it is i use my pressure washer not having to get it out hook it up freaking move it around with me to be able to reach whenever i do need to spray stuff out far yeah it's definitely gonna be a huge time saver anyway i'm gonna go ahead and pull this all the way back out and then reel it all the way back in so you guys can see the actual motion of the reel itself All right, so the thing is super convenient. It does uh, save time. It's ready to go at all times, man. You just walk over, turn it on, pull it out, and you're ready to start pressure washing. Whatever it is that needs to be pressure washed, you're ready to freaking go, man. But now here comes the fun part. The part that I'm excited about, it's time to actually use this thing. <laughs> Well, there it is, man. All freaking finished up. I actually washed all my damn cars in one damn day. Well, except for Khaki and the BMW. These two cars are basically already clean. But anyhow, guys, I'll have a link in the description down below for this pressure washer. If you guys are interested in it, I most certainly recommend it. I'll tell you, it works great for washing cars. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do smash the like button. Peace out, and see you guys on the next one. And I have one, two, three, four, I, I don't know. I have 10 clean cars. Ah!